celebratory video for hitting 3,000 subscribers. I I really, I really am so, I'm fucking lucky, so, I am here today, as promised, with a Q&A, because I've been going live a lot, and people have asked for a Q&A, and I would, I said I would do a Q&A when I got 3,000 subscribers, and here we are. answering questions that were left on the post that I, that I made requesting, uh, or offering the post if you had any questions for a Q&A. thinking that people would be asking me questions for a QA and a and I don't know. It just, I guess things came full circle for a moment to when I first started. Not that I started with the goal of one day being able to make a Q&A, but it's just I just feel special, so <laughs> I don't have many other words for it right now. I also thought that it would be cute to like get ready for nothing. I think I'm gonna go to Target later. <laughs> I also am actually going to um, Barnes and Noble, so I don't need to be ready for several hours, but for else to be doing in the video besides answering questions. I was, I figured I'd get ready. I have my seltzer water. Mixed with a little bit of ice. Because this will be a heavily chatty Let's start. Let's start. Okay. How old are you? I'm 23. Also, hi, my name is Colette. I get that question. What is your name? What's your name? I'm just a girl. Just a girl, Colette. <laughs> just a girl named Colette. Okay. Hi, I'm Colette, and I'm 23 years old. Next question. I'll say that when I'm asking a question. Everyone's asking about you, but how are you? I didn't answer this when I was writing these questions. I figured I'd answer it on the spot. Right now, I'm really well, and I'm feeling very grateful. All in all, though, nine hours last night. I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, what 
is, I wish I had a, a thing to hold this up. I'm like wanting to put it on this plant stand that I have, that I have next to me. not. <laughs> it doesn't work though. It doesn't, it doesn't want to sit there. I'm going to make it sit there. I'm going to take the plant and I'll put it over here. Okay. Let's. Wow, that just like opened the window up, I think. Please, so that I can hold my notebook. All right, back in business. I hope it doesn't fall. Um, next question is, what is your dream vacation? And I would say, I'm looking at this heavily so that I don't just talk and wanted to coach myself, so I'm looking over there at my notebook. But waterfront Airbnb, it can be the beach or it can be the lake um, for a week or, you know, like five to seven days. Um, and I do nothing besides... <laughs> I do nothing besides lay around on the beach and swim in the water, eating lots of fruit and veggies, like fruit and veggie platter, fruit and veggie platter, <laughs> I, uh, and having a little gin and tonic, a little, little sippy, and then watching the sunset and my favorite movies and um, TV shows at night, and then repeating little social interaction as possible, except for if people are there with me, I'll interact with them, but I don't really want to go out because it makes me anxious. I, uh, um, yeah, that would be, that would be an incredibly solid vacation for me. Um, next question. What is your favorite moment? I said I'll name one because I don't think I have an ultimate favorite in life. Also, my favorite now could be replaced by a future, a future memory <laughs> or moment, but that would be seeing the Lumineers um, at an outdoor venue. Seeing the Lumineers in concert at an outdoor venue with my best friends and my sister and we were in <laughs> we were in the um like on the lawn general admission seating and it started to rain and we were dancing and I definitely was crying to certain songs I can't remember what songs exactly I was crying to but because I love the Lumineers so much and I've been listening to them since maybe middle school. They're absolutely incredible to me. Definitely a top, a top memory of mine. I, let's see. What is your favorite video game? Coming from a person that does not really play video games, I said that. Switch because I visited some friends who have Switch and we played Overcooked and it was the most chaotic, chaotic thing I've ever done in my entire life, but it was so much fun. I would definitely, I would play that game very often if I had a Switch, but I don't, so that's probably a good thing. So that I'm not, you know. Oh. 
I just, <laughs> I was trying to reach down to grab my earrings, but I just stabbed my, f my hand. Ouch. Uh, how would you describe yourself in five words? Would your friends agree? This is the next question. So how I did this was, I first described myself in five words, and then I asked some of my loved ones to describe me in five words. So, how I described myself in five words were, um, was kind, creative, supportive, occasionally loud, I know that's two words, but, and unique. So, then I asked my sister to describe me in, f in five words, and she had a fun take on it. She described me in a five-word sentence. So, what my sister said was, she gave me a few ones. Sweet, precious, angel baby girl. <laughs> uh, 2011 manic, manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> Creepy, cute, world-wandering rodent. <laughs> Understandably melodramatic, sensitive dough bubble. <laughs> That's how my sister described me in her take of five words. And then I asked one of my friends to describe me, and she said, radiant, darling, observant, sassy, and caring. And that was so sweet. And then um, I asked my boyfriend, and he said, bubbly, free-spirited, driven, disciplined, and caring. So I guess they would, <laughs> they would agree with what I said, but they also described me better, I think, <laughs> than I did myself. These next several questions were all from the same person, so thank you for asking me a ton of questions. We yeah. have, what is one thing that gets you up in the morning? Currently coffee, but that's subject to change. Like in the summer, it's literally the sunshine and the weather. I just want to be outside because of the weather, but right now it's coffee. <laughs> um, Always makes you laugh. When I was in high school, my friends and I didn't have much to do, so we would drive around a lot at night, and there was this one town that we would drive through, and this one specific neighborhood that had a really, really good speed bump. music and drive over the speed bump and go flying in the car with like five people in it <laughs> like flying through the air while listening to Cream by Iggy Azalea so I really like that memory and it makes me laugh and it was just like it was just so simple you know all we needed to have fun was ourselves, a car, ourselves, literally just ourselves, and then of course we just happened to have a car and there was a speed bump and what better thing to do with a speed bump than to drive as fast as you can over it. <laughs> uh, where did, okay, now I can't see the questions. Okay, next page, I'm on to the next page. Okay. Okay. Dream, play, 
place to visit. I couldn't think of one, so I said, like, I couldn't think of just one. So I said, Colorado, any blue water beach, Switzerland, Alaska. <laughs> uh, what is your actually can't see myself doing this very well, so I'm not going to do that. What is your dream job slash goal? This. I, I really want to do YouTube. I think that would be a fucking incredible because I just, I love creating and I always have and I think that a lot of my life I've held myself back creatively more than I have created. No one's ever told me that what I do sucks, or what I make sucks, except for me. And also, people can tell me that it sucks, it's fine, because art is subjective. But I never even gave myself or other people the chance to see. So, And also I wrote, I have always been making videos since I first picked up a camera, even though I know that's cliche, but that's what everyone says, but it's true. It's true. So, and there was a while when I stopped because I started doubting my ability and I forgot just how much joy it actually brought me. So, a lot of it is like, Next question. What are three things that annoy slash irritate you? I actually had a hard time answering this because recently I've been trying to be more understanding and grateful when I approach um, feelings and emotions such as those. three things that I could think of were uh, when I don't like my outfit because it makes me feel uncomfortable um, when my dongle doesn't behave on live, like my adapter and it makes a whole bunch of sounds on live and it's just annoying and interrupting me and when my coffee is cold supposed to be hot. Normally that only happens if I let it sit for too long and then it's room temperature and it's just not good. But you expect to drink hot coffee and it's just room temperature. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> my foot has pins and needles in it. Uh, let's see. Favorite thing to spend me wrong. I love driving so much. I literally, it's my escape. However, if I could get somewhere really fast, I would do that because all the people I love are kind of very dispersed now. That's just something I've learned with growing up, I guess, as people obviously move away, including myself. So, if I could and, you know, people's time is so valuable. And I want to visit them. So, everyone's just like three to eight hours away drive from me. So, if I could have the ability of speed, then I could spend more time hanging out with them and less time traveling to see them. Uh, favorite snack? Fruit or... Um, cheese crackers and pepperoni. I'm a cheese and crackers girl to the day I die. I literally love it. Uh, number one thing on your bucket list. Next question is to see 
Maybe a second leg of the door they'll come to the US and I will buy the fucking tickets, I tell you. I don't care. I don't care how much money I have to spend. I'm gonna go to see the word, okay? <laughs> um I will fly. Preferably I'd like to drive somewhere, but if I have to fly, I'll fly. Okay, I'm gonna come really close so that I can do my eyeliner. These are going to be the messiest wings of my life, okay? Uh, do you have a biggest fear? Um, I think my biggest fear is the fear of not, not feeling good enough. But also, like, is that like a self-constructed fear? Maybe. just like won't think that anything is good enough even if it's like just trying and honestly when you think about it trying is better than not trying and like and trying might mean that you're doing better than you even thought you know i think i say, but I think sometimes that my standards of effort are way too high, and sometimes the bare minimum is enough, because if you're not doing the bare minimum, you're doing nothing, so doing something is better than doing nothing, in my opinion. really is going to be the messiest wing ever. Okay, those were all by the same person, so thank you, thank you for asking me so many questions. I just got a phone call, so to be continued in part two. Peace.